Hi, my name is Charlie B, and I'm here with Offna Live. With me today is ace driver from Offna, Jeffrey Lynn. How you doing, Jeffrey? Hi, how you doing? Uh, not too bad. Well, today we're going to talk about RCGT again, because that is stuff that we're trying to run this these days. Um, he has a jail tent, and Jeffrey, I want to ask you a few questions, if you don't mind, about your car. Okay, no problem. Okay, so basically... Um, the jail tent is a little bit wider than normal, and why did you decide to uh, go with a 200 millimeter setup? Okay, uh, two 200 millimeter setup will give you a car more stable and uh, easier control straight away. And uh, especially when you are in a high bike track, the car won't trust you know like uh, the 190 millimeter. So basically, the, the narrower the car, the more the more prone they are to traction rolling. Yes, yes, it it's, it's help a lot on the corner, and. Uh, um, sometimes you also help for the um, shaking session because it's 200 millimeter. It's not like a, like crazy so sensitive uh, like uh, the 190. So basically, it's just more stable all around. Yes. I mean, another question that a lot of people have been asking for is, you know, what is the hot body? You know, and you know, is is a toss up between 190 millimeter and 200. What made you choose the MRS? Oh, the reason why I'm choose this one is because um, okay. Front, you can see the front end is the very short. Right. Okay. Uh, when the shorter front end, you can get the easier run into the corner. Ah, so it takes the corners a little bit easier coming in. You can imagine that if you have a longer front end, right? Then when you cut a corner, you need to let off a throttle earlier. Especially, I'm not. I'm not using the brake at all. So basically, it actually reacts when you react instead of uh, doing it too soon. Yes, it is. That's why I'm choosing this one, and uh, this one doesn't have a lot of downforce on the on the on the back. So because the JL10, you need more steering. So basically, uh, uh, the body you chose for DL10 with having less steering is give you a little bit more turning and more speed carrying into the turns. Yes, yes, it is. So that's why I choose this body. Oh, excellent. Also, the thing I wanted to ask is, uh, you know, there's three choices in RCGT. They have the D compounds, the non-belted pros, and the pros. What tires are you using and why are you using those? Okay, I'm using the non, uh, pro compound non-belted. The reason why I'm using this one, that's the only one I feel uh, much better than the D compound and uh, a lot better than the belted. It's work on every track, uh, like West Coast uh, or your race, on the parking lot race, everywhere. It's just better. So basically, you're saying uh, um, because because they're the better compound, you know, they're the pro compounds. Uh, they actually give you more overall traction because they're non-belted. That makes sense. Um, you know, I'm really I'm really uh, excited that you actually won the the RC GT Showdown series. You know, that's must have been a pretty exciting thing for you. Tell me about how it felt to win that race. Okay, that race is that very very tough race when I race with Jimmy Wright, and uh, we. We crossed the night almost together on the finals, and uh, we are very close. You know, I'm only ahead, uh, one point ahead of Jimmy Wright. Yeah, that's pretty close. Yes. So uh, on the on the last race, uh, Jimmy Wright he got TQ, so he, that means he got a point ahead of me right now. So the final, I have to win the race. Then we can even. So it was basically all or nothing, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when I when I when I crossed the night, I know I win by one point. Then that's why I became the RCGT title. So you mean to tell me that you won the whole series by one point? One yeah, that guy's one point. With a car this good, I mean, I don't know. It seems like it's a contender for anybody. Uh, let's talk about some of the equipment you're running. Uh, let's see her open your body up. Um, as far as gearing, um, what do you feel is the best gearing for it? Because I know sometimes people tend to over-gear their cars. What made you decide to gear it the way you do for your car? Okay, I'm always running the ADA uh, spur gear and uh, running the 56 pinion gears. And but de again, depend on which model you have. I'm running the dual uh the Trinity Dual 2 and the KO speed control. And that's why I that's the perfect match for my car right now so far. So, running your duo for your car that that pretty much helped you take the win. How does it perform in any of the other tracks, especially say if the track was uh, really, really big. Um, do you feel you have to gear it up at all? Yeah, if you are, let's say, uh, when I'm going to the West Coast, I'm the 56, but when I go to your race, I uh, become like a 53. So it's all depends on how long the straightaways. Like OCRC, I always run in 53s, but I never change the spur gear. No. Yeah. I, I also see that you're, you're running the car bone stock. I, there's nothing else uh, I could see that's hopped up there. 
um, you know, what's stopping you from putting all the carbon fiber parts in, the, and why do you feel you you not need that? Okay, uh, the reason why we make this car is just because we want people into this class because it, it's very low cost. Everybody can just buy a car and put together and can join the race. Okay, that's all the purpose. Okay, so uh, for the whole car, the this is still original. Like you, like you see, you can see the plastic shark, and uh, everything's still original. You don't see any carbon fiber. Okay, uh, I think the car was just good. With uh, original, you can change a lot of stuff. We will have the carbon fiber, like aluminum, all kind of hub ups. But I, to me, I think it's only for looking though. So basically, all those carbon fiber stuff you don't need. It, obviously, you've proven that because you've won uh, many races in my track, and especially running the showdown series uh, with a bone stock car. It, it and I guess the message that often is trying to say is. You don't need to. You don't need to spend a whole lot of money to be competitive, and that's exactly why this car is going to be successful. Because and it's successful. Um, it's an entry level car that is competitive, just like all the other five, six, seven hundred dollar cars that are out there on the market now. And you know, as a good introductory to um, to the hobby, if you're thinking of getting an on road, or if or if you want to get a new on road car, this is the car that you want to get. You know, um, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't see any other reason why one would not want to enter this class because it is a spec class, and showing that uh, um, Jeffrey's been so successful with it, um, it isn't hard to actually uh, um, uh, be part of this awesome series that's coming up starting 2010. Um, we will be doing RCGT this weekend at Hobbytown Corona, and you know again Jimmy Wright's going to be there. So if Jeffrey's there, there might be some pretty good battles. And of course, uh, the December 12th and 13th is the 11th annual Toys for Tots race, which, you know, which started the big series last year. And we had seven heats of RCGT. And were you there last year for RCGT? No, 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 no. no. Okay, so yeah, so um, for all of you uh, just who, did, who weren't there, we had seven full heats. It was uh, three heats of expert RCGT and four heats of sportsman RCGT. And we're probably going to have the same turnout this year for our 11th annual Toys for Tots. Um I guess uh, other than other than the body and and the setup, um, you know, there really isn't much else to do to this car. As Jeffrey has proven, uh, it's a competitive car. It's a it's a very well priced car, and it's a great introduction to the industry. And uh, if you had any advice to anyone thinking about getting to RCGT or on road for that matter, what would you say to them? Um, just practice more <laughs> and get a good. Like a uh, good speed control. Remember, just buy a good speed control that will last you for uh, for a long time, right? If you buy like a cheap speed control, you might damage like uh, a few times that you still need to buy. That's why I say I always tell people if you want into the market, uh, into the unlock car, you just buy the good speed control and take care of the speed control that you can run it for a long time. So electronics, at least invest in that first. You know, basically you don't you don't you don't don't normally replace cars right away but electronics you buy them you buy the good ones right away that way that's the last thing you have to replace next time so with that being said jeffrey thank you so much for your time you. this is charlie b this is jeffrey lynn from offnet this is often live i will see you soon